What's up guys, this is Ben. Today we are talking about making presets in Lightroom Classic and then changing them into LUTs for video, which are often a hot commodity to be sold online. So if you're a photographer or a filmmaker and you're wanting to make some presets and you're looking into how to do that, this is how to do it. So first off, here I have a list of multiple photos all from the same location and same date. Same time, uh, it was all walking around this frozen lake, people were skating on it and having a good time. So they all pretty much have the same look and feel of them and I actually think I forgot to change my settings throughout the day. For the most part they were all the same so I wanted to make one preset to make for all of these photos. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this guy and I'm going to make a quite basic edit and It won't be perfect, but it's just for this video to make a preset. So here is the before and after of this image. Nice quick edit. So I didn't make it perfect, but uh, it's definitely come a long way from the start. And I wanted to make all of the photos from this day look fairly similar. So what do I do? I'm going to go ahead to the presets window here and I'm going to go ahead and create a preset. So here I can go and say skating, put it in, let's put it into the tutorial presets group. You can make a new group if you want. And then all of this is all of the edits that you made if you want to copy them over. So I'm not going to copy over my graduated filters because not every photo is going to have the same horizon line and everything else looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and click create. Now here we see skating. Green Mountains was for an old one that I never ended up doing. So now we just have skating. So now I'm going to go ahead and select all of them, minus the one we just did. Click on the preset. It says skating updated for nine or eight images. So now if I go through all these images, we have a much different look. We didn't add a crop because I didn't want to crop the photos yet. But now we can go ahead and start doing that now. So not all of the images are perfect. This guy looks still a little bit too dark. So we can raise the exposure and lower the vibrance a little bit. This guy looks quite a lot better in my opinion than before. So now that's basically how to create a preset super quick. One quick little note is that when you're selling your presets, Personally, I really hate it when people leave in the transformations that they use on their presets. So if I was to go down to the transform tab and I, you know, I rotated it, I changed all, all of this up and I moved it around. Like you can see, if I go back, there's a pretty big difference between the before and after in terms of the transformation. This is one of my biggest pet peeves when I'm using other people's presets is that they leave all of these transformation settings in their presets. Honestly, there's no reason to put them in a preset unless you're using them as personal presets across multiple batch photos where those transformations are actually needed for those photos. If you're using more of a general look for these presets, just skip transform, uncheck that box in the preset creation box and then just leave it unchecked because honestly there's no real point of leaving it in and I think it looks fairly unprofessional if you do leave it in because it's just annoying. So now we have this preset. If you want you can go ahead and export the preset and just save it as a skating preset. Now if we go to the desktop, I have this skating.xmp, which you can now sell or move to another computer. It's up to you however you want to do it, but now we have this preset here. So now that we have all of our presets, next is changing them into LUTs if we want to make a video match with a photo. So this can be important if you're out on one day, you're shooting photos and videos at the same time, and you want to make a consistent look between them all, now we can go and make a LUT. So first you're going to want to open up Chrome, search IWLTBAP, and that's going to be a LUT generator. So the first link 
for some reason it seems to be giving an issue for quite a while uh, even though it says let generator you're going to want to go to the next link which is a selfie link you're going to get it for free you're just going to go and you know you can enter a price if you want but i just say zero buy now and then that download will be sent to your email then it's going to be sent to your email you're going to click on a link press download it's going to download into a zip you open the zip and then there's two folders one with mac one with windows you're going to open whichever one you have uh, launch the installation so when you open it up this is what it's going to look like it's going to say generate a hauled and convert to cube so first we're going to go to create a hauled and you're going to navigate somewhere and click open and now we're going to have this little image that pops up this is, I guess, what's called a hauled. This is what will store the information within these colors of this image. Next, we're gonna go back to Lightroom, go to Library, Import, and then we're going to navigate to where we saved that image. So I saved it on my desktop. Here we see it. I'm gonna import that. I'm gonna go to Develop. And I'm just simply going to click on my preset and it's going to apply the preset to the image. So you can see before and after it did save the image. Next, I'm going to export. It's going to export it. And now we see two images, one as a JPEG, one as a PNG. So I'm going to go convert to cube, find the JPEG that I just exported, not the original one. And I'm going to click open. It's going to say done operation completed successfully. So here we see neutral dash 512.cube. So a dot cube is a LUT file, which means that you can import it now into Premiere Pro and slap that LUT onto some footage. So let's see if we can go ahead and try this new preset out. After you've generated this cube, you can go ahead and delete both of these uh, neutral-512 images because you don't really need them anymore. I'm going to go to my Lumetri color panel, go to creative, look, and browse. So now I'm going to browse to my desktop where I saved this, neutral-512 cube, open, and look at that. It's kind of tough to notice because it's very different uh, it's very much different than the base look of the photo to begin with, so it won't match the photo that we were editing. But we can definitely see that the LUT worked and that it changed a lot of the colors up. We can see in the train tracks that a lot of the calibration changes that we did changed the color of the train track in this case. Uh, we changed the exposure. So there's a lot going on here, but I think it looked quite good. So that is it. That's how to create Lightroom presets. That's how to export them. And that's also how to change Lightroom presets into LUTs for video. Thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this series of Lightroom tutorials. I hope you really learned a lot. And if you did, feel free to hit that subscribe button and like it if you like this video. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.